Chris Brown, man. I wasn't gonna say nothing, but I gotta say something, man. I'm very, very disappointed in Chris Brown, bro. I got all Chris Brown music ever since I was a kid. Always had Chris Brown music, always knew every word to every song. Just went to the concert, paid three bands, me, Nike, and Kamari to go see Chris Brown. And I got a cereal, like all kind of exclusive stuff that no one, no one would have, I got. And when I seen him in person, I tried to take a picture with him. And one of his little homies was like, nah, not right now. He was playing the game, which is understandable. But then me and D-Lo stood there and waited. I ain't gonna count. We fanboy waited for 30 minutes for him to finish the game just for him to uh, walk away. And I was like, I talked to his another security guard. Like, bro, can I get a picture with Chris? He's like, you gotta ask his manager. I went to ask his manager. His manager's like, for sure, man. You can, I definitely think he'll take a picture with you. Go ask him. Oh, but he just sat down. Like, what the? Like, bro, I mean, I understand because, you know, Everybody is different levels. He's definitely on the top level of fame, so I don't want to act like he don't deserve the right to be bougie, stuck up, or ignore his fans. He do. He, he got the right to be like Floyd when Floyd did that to me. But uh, it just sucks seeing it in person all over again. Like, I already been through that with Floyd Mayweather. That was the only time I've been through that was with Floyd Mayweather. Now it happened again with Chris Brown. I took pictures with every celebrity in there. Except Chris Brown, that's the one I want. Well, Chris Paul, I didn't get a picture with Chris Paul because he was actually talking to me and I didn't want to cut him off and say, hey, let me just get a picture, forget all that. So besides Chris Paul and Devin Booker, Devin Booker, man, you made my night too, bro. You came up to me, shook my hand, like that's what I'm talking about. People that are real, genuinely real, it don't matter how famous they are, how rich they are, they gonna be real, that's me. And like, when people come up to me for a picture, they, they probably expect me to be stuck up, but I'm not stuck up because I'm a real, humble individual. I know I get all the, you corny comments, you this, you that, but they don't know me in real life, bro. No one knows you in real life unless they know you in real life, so I never let the comments get to me. Um, I'm not even gonna let this get to me. This situation was cool. I'm, I just, I'm not gonna forget it. D-Lo was there, he witnessed it too. He couldn't believe it. He like, man, I can't believe people be like that. But it's just how it is, you know what I'm saying? My brother, the game, you know, he always show love to me, man. He's major, been in the game since I was a kid. He don't never treat me bad. He always treat me good. He always got advice for me. I got his number, he texts me too. So, it's always good to go out and network, but then when stuff like that Chris Brown situation happened, it made me feel like, man, I don't want to be around famous people. I want to be around my fans so I can, you know, I can embrace people and be embraced by people instead of getting blown off. Like, it was weird to be looking dead at Chris Brown for 30 minutes and him look all over me. Like, like imagine I'm you, I'm you, I'm the camera right now, and Chris, I'm Chris Brown right now, but you're me, that's what I meant to say. You're me, I'm Chris Brown, this is how he was doing me. So clearly y'all looking right at me and I'm Chris Brown, this is how he was doing. I'm like, bro, I'm right here, like, hey, Chris. Then when he walked right in front of me, I'm like, Chris, can I get a picture? He just like kept walking, right? So I'm like, man, what did I do to this dude? I don't know what I did to him, I mean, I ain't do nothing to him. But I did have all my jewelry. And of course, Chris Brown's way richer than me. Way richer than me. So there should be no insecurities with the jewelry because you got drip, bro. You got everything that anyone could want. So yeah, I wore all my jewelry. That's because I'm not leaving my jewelry at home when people got the code to my house. I'm not feeling safe. Like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not leaving my jewelry in the hotel room. No, I didn't bring security, so I ain't got nobody that can hold my stuff. And I don't live in LA, so you know what I'm saying? It's very different for me. Plus, I love wearing my jewelry. I love wearing my jewelry. People be like, dang, your neck don't hurt. Yes, my neck hurts, <laughs> but I feel better wearing my drip. That's me, that's why I'm so cool. Cause I'm iced out, you know, it's always been a part of me. So icy boys for life, man. Maybe when I go to these events, I won't be this dripping. Maybe I'll just wear Cubans and no charms. I don't know, but I cannot have another celebrity that I look up to turn me down for a picture. Anyway, enough of the Chris Brown stuff.